things first, we have to fit that hollow lens inside of the helmet. They want the faceplate to be able to open through a voice command. The third objective for the fab team is to put everything together and get it functioning. The sensors on the hollow lens have to be able to pick up the world around you. There's so many different components and it all has to work together to make it a real Iron Man helmet. So this is the motor for the face opening? Yeah. It's gonna sit like that at okay. your chin okay. and then it's gonna rotate that and makes there's sense. a little wire that goes and then it pulls it. So the only thing is that they have to be relatively close together, right? Like, we couldn't have it on opposite sides of the helmet, right? If I had extra wire, I could rewire them. So I can extend these wires out. So I can extend them as far as we need, as we need length. Cool. We soldered everything together, and now we're just doing uh, testing for the scripts to make sure that we can actually operate the servo. As you've seen, it's been rotating very well. We're on point to having the servos work this, uh, this afternoon. What happened, man? I heard a crunch, a did, really bad crunch. Did it eat something? I think it, I think we just ate a gear. That fast? I think I might have had, I might have been pushing the limits of it. Uh-huh. And I think I just ate the gear. Oh no. Well, open that up and I guess good thing we got two of them. Yeah, anyone got a screwdriver? They're not smart enough to know their own limits, so you have to, you have to find their limits. And the only way to find the limits is to test it. And from what I just heard, I think we just found its limits. Now you'll figure it out. Just Oops. Figure out it. are we really like how white we're gonna make the helmet? Yeah, cool. You know what I was thinking is that we we scale the helmet. It's like a 3D model. Cause I could print the hollow lens at home tonight, like a quarter inch. Yeah. And then you could print the helmet. You could actually test it at a smaller scale, which prints faster. Don't grind gear. <laughs> All right, we're not grinding gear anymore. Hey. So what was hey. it? It was cranking to the left too hard, and it was causing it to uh, slip and strip. That one, so. It's dancing. It's working. Yep. What is going on? Well, he's actually got a couple parts already working there. So this is the servo. Okay. And we have our battery pack, which will control this top board, which is what controls the servo. And then the bottom board tells this board here what to do. Try one more time here. It's like the birth of a child. Good morning. Where the chin plate is, mm -hmm. um, it will have one of these discs on it. And these discs will create torque on a wire, which will pull on the hinge that we're going to have on the side It'll of the helmet. It will slide the face yeah. plate up and it down. Will, You're this is just... powerful little thing. This one is Ricky. Ricky? That's Ricky. She wants to name him. He's Actually, Ricky now. Yeah, we're naming it Ricky. Ooh. What's going to happen is all of that is going to be inside the helmet. Yep. And I'm going to say, is it, do I call it Cortana? There might be a way to rename it so that it, you can say Jarvis, and it will know that Jarvis is uh, who you want. And then it will just, that will be a, what's called the on cue command. Okay. And so that will be uh, how it activates and it kicks on. So it's an always listening mic, but it only activates once key word is set. <laughs> So this is like a teeny that. tiny hollow lens? Yep, I quarter really scale. Yep. 25%. Yep. Yep. Same thing with the helmet. So we printed oh it Oh my god, this is my color scheme. <laughs> All right, well this is the hollow lens at quarter scale. There's not enough clearance. We're definitely going to have to revise this. We're going to have to expand the helmet, possibly right here, the eyebrows, make them a little wider. Because right now, it's right at the eyes. That's You see the pink there? That needs to sit higher. Our goal was to make sh uh, the HoloLens actually be able to talk to the servo uh -huh. so that you can vocally tell it to open and close. So the problem was is that we weren't sure if the HoloLens or even Windows was even going to be able to talk to these uh, boards. So me and Rusty have been working for, what, past 30 minutes? Yeah, I'll just run it. <laughs> Good morning, little one. Every second I'm sending a one and then a zero. On, off. Yeah. Uh, Basically, this is a Windows computer to it. It's a Windows it. device. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we'll, we can somehow tap into that and we'll be able to tell Ricky to open the hatch. It's to... all up to you, Ricky. You have to be able to open the hatch. Yes. Or else we're going to adopt another one of you. If I scale it up to match the picture reference, mm -hmm. I will know exactly how this head will sit in there. Okay. How many different things do we have to fit inside the helmet? Obviously the hollow lens. And the a battery pack. Battery. Servo. 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 The little clutch cable thing. 
for the... Reiki? To make the mechanism yeah. work. Right. Yeah, but if you look at this, you can actually see that it... There's more than enough clearance now. Okay, so Unity supports C Sharp 4 and .NET 3.5, while the HoloLens supports C Sharp 6 and .NET 5. So it's, uh, it might not be able to build in Unity, but it can... Build it can, in HoloLens? Yeah. Is that even possible? That's a good question. Can you send messages back to a server? Can yeah. you use Wi-Fi to... Yeah, um, that's what that other bomb is for. So what if I give you a local IP address to send the messages on? Just post it there? Since apparently <laughs> it's not able to connect through serial port, we're going to connect through Wi-Fi and uh, do it that way. The problem was that the HoloLens hardware does not support the serial connection, um, but it does support Wi-Fi. We know that for sure. So I went home and I worked on turning the chip into its own web server, so it connects to Wi-Fi and it creates its own service. The speech so when I say the word toggle, to it yeah. should toggle that. You know, <laughs> technically, this is how Tony Stark did it. Because Jarvis was just running off a satellite. So yeah. all of his equipment was ran like we are doing it now. Yeah. Are you ready for your test at the start? I am ready. Toggle. Yes! Uh, yes. <laughs> It worked? Yeah. It worked. It crashed the program. <laughs> Why? It crashed. It looked and it worked at the same time. That's like half success. You can do it, it once. <laughs> nice. We just got the print in Amazon boxes and separate pieces. Uh, last time we had problems or dividing the parts up for printing. And basically, we had to plain cut everything. So now we're yeah. putting it together only to take it back apart again so that it's in pieces that work mechanically so that Dylan didn't just do all this work for the faceplate for it to be useless, I guess. So we got to put it together, bondo it, sand it, and get it ready for everything else. Hey, guys. Hi. Hey. Hello. What's up? Hey, how's it going? What's going on? Lots. I have a surprise. What's the surprise? Oh, really? Have you guys ever heard of the Hacksmith? on yeah. YouTube. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. yeah? Okay, let's check out his trailer. Hey guys. Hi. Hey, how's it going, man? Not too bad. How are you? Doing good. 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 <laughs> so let's see this project you're working on. Uh, yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> From the model that we were using for prototyping, it's a lot different. So there's a lot of like narrow curves. I can't really mount anything there. And the brackets we have are like, now they're not gonna sit right. I measured for that. Yeah. That's what I thought it was gonna look like. So it's curved. So yeah. every curve causes clearance issues. All right, okay. yeah. It's the second week of the build now, I believe. Um, and the team's running into a few mechanical <laughs> Uh, issues with the hinge design. Yesterday, this wasn't an issue at all when I left here. That bracket was designed before last Friday. Yeah. Because so we should have known about it last yeah. Friday. This is not news. This has been going on. We, we can't redesign it. We're not looking at the 3D model. The only way we're going to solve this problem is by actually basically trying. <laughs> the, the 3D printed helmet was printed in one piece, which means one, we have to actually cut the mask out and then add the hinges, and two, there's not actually anything in place right now for mounting the hinges to. So unfortunately, that's actually the most mechanically difficult portion of the build, and it's kind of been left at 11th hour. It's a pretty big element that we want, like the Iron Man face mask to sure. open up, but on the flip side, if we mess it up, <laughs> There's no What's the backup plan? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. To me, the way I see it is, if that mask doesn't pop up, then it, there's no difference than just putting a motorcycle helmet on. It's, it doesn't do it for me. So we have to make that work. How's it going? Are there any <laughs> issues? Yeah, okay. There was uh, one issue. What, what issue? The way we were going to open the face plate at the beginning was uh -huh. it's just not going to work anymore. So we have at to... All? At all? No. We what have to... We're was trying the to... Issue? The way that the helmet was uh, printed, and then how we're going to have to cut it out. We just don't have like the way the mounts are going to work. They just won't work anymore. So we have to uh, rework how we're going to actually make it open. Um, how? Then do 
you say just y? scale negative one on the x. We want it right here. Yeah. But okay, it's, so it's not possible. Just lock it with camera. Yeah. That's just locked. It says can't connect. So gonna, like, we have a reticle that's following my left eye right now as I look around the environment. If you want to see what we're doing in the other episodes, make sure that you like and subscribe so you can keep up with our progress and see the finished product. It's going to be super cool. We'll see you next time.